Heart problems still cause around a quarter of UK deaths. To treat it, you need the best possible picture of what's going on inside. Come on in, sir. Mike's always been sporty and fit. A former PE teacher, he's still jogging into his mid-80s. But recently, he's developed a common heart problem. In healthy hearts, the heart valves close and seal like this, whereas in patients with uh, heart valve disease, they might close like this, causing a leak through the valve. OK, could you breathe in for me, please? So Mike's become one of the first UK patients to benefit from a new heart scanning technique at the Norfolk and Norwich Hospital. Doctors here are able to see in multiple dimensions exactly how the blood is swirling around inside. This is the left heart. Uh, the main chamber of the heart is the left ventricle here. You can see the blood flow going forward in yellow here, which is the normal flow. And the flow which is swirling in above is the leak through the mitral valve. And you can see that in three dimensions. So now you've got this much better image of what's going on. How does that help you work out how to treat the patient? The key question here is, um, what do we offer to the patients with leaky valve heart disease? Uh, we tend to offer either surgical intervention to repair the valve or replace the valve, or uh, medical treatment by medications. Um, and this technology allows us to make those decisions with more confidence. Well done, Mike, you're okay. Did really well there, really well. The one good thing about this particular uh, procedure seems to be that whereas previously they had to put a, a, a probe inside you and take soundings and everything close to your heart, uh, with all the risks that would involve, uh, in, in this case, it's, you know, it, there's, there's, everything's external and uh, the risks are minimal, I suppose, if at all. It's benefiting patients now. But these images will also be used to better understand heart disease in future. Absolutely. And flow dictates pressure and it will help us to determine pressures. And that's where a lot of research is happening right now. Richard Westcott, BBC News, Norwich.